For 100 years, Francis Parker School has remained true to its mission. Our primary responsibility is to build those meaningful relationships with students so that we can challenge them, so that we can push them, we can inspire them. I love the rigorous education. I love it. We hold the kids to very high standards. The kids are wonderful. It does a, a phenomenal job of preparing the kids to really follow their dreams, figure out what they like, what they're passionate about, and pursue those. The most important thing I've learned at Parker hasn't actually come from any specific class, but more just the interactions I've gained. They really make an environment that allows you to excel. I learned leadership. I learned how to interact with teachers on a level that wasn't student-teacher. The camaraderie, the connection that students have with one another, it's a powerful example of what education, a good education, can do for bridging gaps and bringing people together. Everyone's sort of like a big family. How much trust there is between teachers and students, administrators and teachers, teachers and parents, it goes every way and those relationships build on each other till you eventually get this, this environment that's really thriving and, and powerful. Parker is best defined by its kids. These are kids that excel in academics, in athletics, in arts. These are kids that are well-rounded. These are kids of character. These are kids who understand that their role in this world extends beyond themselves. These are kids that have depth. The arts is the umbrella. It's being able to use your mathematics skills, what you're learning in English and even in science, and give it new meaning. Parker values that it's important and that kids have those outlets. Because if you want to be an actor, you can you learn how to be an actor in drama. If you want to learn how to be an artist, you can learn how to be an artist in art. If you want to learn how to speak different languages, you could do that in Spanish and Chinese. We speak to our graduates when they're 20, 30, 40, 50 and beyond and see that they are successful personally and professionally. I care less about the schools that they get into than how they make a difference in 25 and 50 years. We're looking at the long picture. If we can go out and maybe change a few people's lives after this school, this amazing school, that would be fantastic. When I'm older, I want to go into medicine, and I think I want to be a neurosurgeon. And I also take woodshop. I've been taking it since the sixth grade, and I really enjoy it. Because it gives those kids a chance to lay down those electronics and actually do something with their hands, using their mind. We have that rigor in academics, but at the same time, there's all kinds of clubs and sports and music and arts for kids to be exposed to. That's what I concentrate on most like tennis and math. I just think the coaching staff is phenomenal. One, two, three, together. Good. One of the real strengths, I think, of Parker is that an individual who wants to accomplish something is not just allowed to accomplish it, but encouraged to accomplish it. To try things, to think outside the box, to make mistakes, because you have such a wonderful safety net when you fall. I love that there's a variety of students too. It's just mixed and you get to meet every type of person there can possibly be and it's amazing. I think my, my parents would agree that it was a good investment for me. I certainly do. There's no doubt that the Parker education has been worth every cent that my wife and I have put into it for my daughter. I think the Parker experience is certainly rooted in tradition, but it's also rooted in innovation. Our kids, I think, they learn that. It's in their DNA. It's okay to look back you know, the last hundred years of the Parker existence. But it's really important to look forward and how will the Parker education, how will the Parker institution make a difference the next hundred years?